Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Do you know the sound? I'm sure you're quite familiar with it. Yes, it's the sound of an engine starting. Since most of the engines are not self-starting, some sort of mechanisms are required to help it run independently. Earlier, the automotive engines were started by conventional methods like kickstart or hand crank. But now you can see vehicles without the kickstart option at all. This is because of the recent developments with electric start or auto start. Today, we are going to talk about two very important members of the auto electric system, which helps in this regard, the starter motor and the generator. This image shows a generalized arrangement of auto electric components along with the engine. When the driver turns on the ignition, the battery voltage is applied to the starter motor through a solenoid. A solenoid is an electromagnet which completes the high power circuit by a low power command. It also helps to connect the motor shaft with the flywheel mounted to the engine, thus serving two purposes simultaneously. A starter motor needs to develop enough power since it has to help rotate all the heavy parts above a certain threshold speed until the engine runs on its own. Therefore, a large current is supplied by the battery for this duration and it discharges heavily. This is the reason why the cabin bulb gets dim and the music system takes a pause while the ignition is applied. Depending on the state of the battery, multiple attempts may be required to successfully start the engine. The starter motor is usually a DC motor with speed reduction gears which is intended for short time duty. Therefore, this motor is of small size. Automakers also suggest waiting for a few seconds between two consecutive ignition efforts to avoid overheating of the starter motor. Once the engine starts running independently, the starter motor is disengaged from the flywheel. Otherwise, the engine will end up driving the motor at a very high speed. Engine-driven generators now take over and supply power to discharged batteries along with other electrical equipment. A generator or dynamo is an electrical machine which produces electrical power when driven by a prime mover. The magnetic field is produced by battery supply and a three-phase alternating current is generated from its terminals. Therefore, it is also known as an alternator. This AC supply is converted to DC using diode rectifiers. Since the engine runs at various speeds, the alternator will also produce different voltages because it's directly proportional. A voltage regulator circuit maintains the output voltage. The role of starter motor and generator can be served by the single electrical machine called motor generator or integrated starter generator. The ISG helps to improve the overall fuel consumption where the vehicle undergoes frequent start-stop conditions. If the battery, motor and alternator are powerful enough, they can not only start the engine, but they can provide propulsion power together with the engine. Vehicles that use the system are known as hybrid electric vehicles. One such example is the hybrid Synergy Drive in the Toyota Prius. Well, that's it guys. Hope you've gotten a better understanding on this topic. Subscribe to the channel to get more updates on such videos. Alright, I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.